Welcome back everyone. I am excited to be with you today and sharing my new 2020 bullet journal. I um, hope you can hear me okay. I'm trying a slightly different setup. Anyway, this year I am using the Exceed A5 dotted journal with the 100 GSM paper from Walmart again. I have no idea why their 100 GSM paper is so good. I tried the new Artist Loft brand with 120 GSM paper and it feathered everywhere, so I don't know. Anyway, here at the cover, I don't know how well you can see with the glare, but there's a sticker of, of some whales flying through the sky. This I have not done anything with yet. I will add my name in and potentially um, take a page from Jessica Starr, the Story Witches book, and do a collage here for my word of the year. Um, and nothing special for my index pages. And then for my opening page here, I have my word of the year, which is poise. Um, I went back and forth with a few different words and my um, year ahead tarot drawing really solidified this for me. So overall, as I started setting up, I imagined a sort of Art Deco theme, as you can see there with some of my lettering styles different. These I did um, two variations on a grid spacing page. And even with setting up this far, they have been really helpful. And I've seen these in journals before, both this way and Amanda Rachelie's way, where it's a line, and I've thought it surely wouldn't be that helpful, but so far it's definitely been helpful. This spread here, you'll notice I have a lot in pencil still. This is my goals calendar for 2020. So when I was thinking about my goals for 2020, um, I realized that I did not want to front load January so that I was starting everything then. And that got me thinking about other things and what might be going on through the year. So over here I have my months and then the different areas where I have goals. And I have tentatively divided out what will be going on in each um, month for each goal. So over here for art and craft, um, you know, I want to take an online class in January. In March, I'm thinking about doing an art challenge where I draw or paint something magic related, doing mermaid, doing inktober, and then coming up with something for gouache for August. I'm doing something terribly funny, like a gouache. <laughs> anyway, um, if you are still deciding your goals, this might be an interesting way for you to kind of look at where the busy times in your year are going to be. Next, I have my year ahead spread. Um, the metallics here are with the Uniball Signo in one millimeter size. I don't know. That's not going to focus. There we go. So I have both the gold and the silver. Um, I cut these years ago, but they are still going strong. Down here, these, I actually pulled this design from a book of lettering ideas of Art Deco period. Um, the gray inside is this N75 gray, and the white is a jelly ball, or jelly roll um, ballpoint pen. Okay, now we're moving into the future log. This is a little different than I've done in the past. I'm hoping that having the days this way will help me. Um, it is looking like for the first time in a while I will need a future log, so um, I'm excited to try this out. You'll also see that I have tried out another method as well. Um, since I really expect at most to only get through June in this journal, if that, um, I think there's plenty of space here to try both and see what's working. Um, I expect it may be some sort of combo where you know, these work for specific appointments, but these work for additional appointments or more general things. And then this is the additional future log. So it's the Alistair style inspired that I did in my last journal where I can mark which month it's in. I can write the date and then the event. Uh, and then another notes page. I was really disappointed with these headers. I spent a lot of time drawing out this pattern and I picked out uh, three different colors 
with my um, Crayola Super Tips. But once I actually got to putting them on, two of the colors look almost identical, which is a bummer. Moving on, I have my reading tracker. So I've gone ahead and drawn in 54 books, thinking I'll probably set um, a reading goal of 50 books this year. Um, but I wanted a few extras. Definitely in 2019, there were a few books I put on my list that I didn't finish, so I want space for that. And then down here, I will add in a color code for what genre they're in. This page I have left just in case I go over 54 books and want to keep drawing. I don't expect I'll do that in the space of this journal, but who knows? Um, and I also have this space open for book suggestions and a sort of TBR list. These, you'll notice, I have not drawn in yet. I am still sorting out what sort of new cleaning schedule I want to implement for 2020. So these two spreads will be dedicated to laying that out for me. This next spread is for my writing. And you'll see I have the whole year. <laughs> and then in gold, a W, and in black, an O. Well, it's actually not black. It's yeah, you can see a little of the sheen there. Yay! <laughs> it's um, Santiago C. Uh, Hemingway by Organic Studios Fountain Pen Inc. Anyway, one of my goals for 2020 is to write every day with the understanding that I'm actually shooting for something like 80% of days having written, or have an O here for editing or revising things like that, where it's, it's writing, but it isn't words being added necessarily. And then I have additional notes page over here. I may add in some um, check boxes for other goals. We shall see. Next up is my house check-in. Um, so as before, this is my birth chart. Um, a little personal, I know. Um, and I have the internal half in a dark color and the external half in a light color. Um, and what I've written in here is just how I'm feeling about each of these 12 areas of my life. Um, and then over here and onto here, I've written what I want those areas of my life to be like. So you may be wondering, why did I take the time to put in these planets? This year, I am hoping to look at um, which sign the different moon phases are in or which pay closer attention to the planets that may be in retrograde and see what areas of my life these um, may be affecting and I might look for things going on and more. So this blank page, I am either going to um, add in a, a little little writing about how some of my goals tie into these things, how they tie into bringing this to be. Or I may leave this space to check in with where I am when I finish this journal as opposed to where I was at the beginning. Next is my year ahead spread. So I again did a circle with my months across the top. The cards I drew for each month and then I did the element associated with each. For this year, I used the Wildwood Tarot. I've been trying to work with that and have really been learning a lot. Um, so they all, as you know, if you've worked with this deck, have specified elements to work with. Down here, I have my general card for the year and then an, um, an animal card for the year. And this is the Wild Unknown animal spirit oracle. Um, over here you'll see I have the letter for each month. My intention with this is for each month I will also draw an additional card of the month and I will journal here about how the card I drew I guess predictively in December compares with the card as I'm going into the month. And then on this page, I have my two cards of the year, and I will do a little journaling on those after I share this with you. And then I just scanned in and printed out my two overview cards of the year to take some inspiration from and enjoy looking at them a little more. 
Okay, this next spread looks a little funny, and I will explain why. <laughs> so, um, I am going to endeavor to amp back into my physical health routine. Um, and a few years ago, I was really struggling with that. And in another bullet journal, I did a tracker for walking to Mordor. Nerd Fitness has um, calculated the miles and the different landmarks uh, for the journey that Frodo and Sam would have taken. And I have drawn out this tracker with each of the mile markers and I have it in phases. So in my previous journal, I scanned it before I colored it. So this time I just printed that off and you can see there's a huge difference in the pages and the size. Um, but I will link the video to my non-witchy YouTube channel where you can see me drawing this original and what it looked like when I had some watercolor on it. This copy paper just really couldn't handle it with the ink. So I'm excited to see this. I think that this time around I will actually be biking to Mordor instead of walking to Mordor, which should go a bit faster than walking to Mordor, um, but hopefully this time I can make it back again as well. Next is my garden planning. Um, so I'm really wanting to dive into getting a spring and summer garden this year. I wanted a place to brainstorm and then with what I decide to plant, a place to write the name, whether it's better to grow from seed or transplant, the date it should go in the ground, or the date the seed should be started, and any additional notes about it. And that is it for the front matter of my 2020 setup. The only other thing I have going on is back in the back, my pen test. So you can see I have some washi tests going on here. Um, then my combos. This green that you've seen a few places is um, Diamond Sherwood Green in a um, 1.5, no, a 2.1 millimeter um, metallic pen. And then my Crayola Super Tips, Mild Liners, Artist Loft, Brush Markers, and Marvy, and then just my junk pages. So, Thanks so much for watching along with me. I hope you found some interesting ideas to take with you into 2020, and I look forward to seeing what you do as well. Bless me.